Hi, I'm Stephen Broadway, fashion artist from New York. I graduated from Parsons, where I was really taught to appreciate the power of drawing from live models and how that can really help an artist improve their illustration skills. Um, I teach at Parsons now. I work with fashion design students as well as students at the Fashion Institute of Technology. So as you can, might imagine, I'm around a lot of talent. And of course, the extraordinary cultural diversity, creative energy, and talent in New York City continually inspires me. And I would like to uh, share with you a wonderful new product, Prismacolor Premier Brush Fine Art Marker that will be available in April, so look for it. It's a spectacular new art tool that's going to really enhance your drawing and artwork that you create using Prismacolor Art Marker. Um, it's going to be very similar to uh, the uh, chisel fine tip that you're used to. In fact, all the ink is going to be the same. So whatever ink and color that you're used to, it's going to carry on over. However, the beautiful new brush tip has a tremendous flexibility that's going to enhance your work and allow you to explore line quality and color application in a whole new kind of way, okay? So um, I think what's always nice to do when you get an art marker in your hand, particularly a new one, you need to just on a blank sheet of paper, just learn to make all kinds of marks and get used to what that tool can deliver for you. And with the brush marker, you have to be really conscious of the pressure that you apply when drawing and applying color. And you just make it your own. You learn to relax with it and squiggle and doodle. I think just free form application of line for you to better understand its qualities is going to really be important in you using it effectively and with confidence. So that's always really, really important, okay? So what I have uh, set up here are some very sm uh, quick gesture drawings, which I often use as an underdrawing to do a finished uh, illustration, often relating to uh, fashion. So I have prepared some ahead of time and I'm going to slide one under a sheet of the marker pad and then we'll get to work and see how that goes. So I'm going to start with a drawing of a face and it's good to start with like maybe a light gray tone just so you can establish the understructure of the drawing and give yourself placement of features, so on and so forth. And then you build color after that. So again, just be conscious of pressure it's very similar to, you know, working with a paintbrush. That's why it's called the brush marker. So you can start with your lighter tones first and then build to middle tones and then finish off with black. And you assess the whole process as it's being applied and determine when you need to move on to a darker color value in order to give the drawing focus and definition. So here I'm going back and forth as you can see between the brush tip and the fine tip. But practice does make a huge difference in you knowing how far you can go with this wonderful new drawing tool. So try to not be too rough with any art supply. Be very sensitive as you are creating your artwork. And here I'm going to go with some pink for hair, since it's one of those
colors that's always really fun to work with. And the range of pinks in the new set, quite special, quite spectacular. So you may recognize a girl similar to the one I'm drawing now, which is going to be um, featured on the boxes. And she's uh, very cool with her pink hair that's sort of just windblown and freeform. And maybe a little light color on the lip. Because we want to keep the focus on the hair. Add a little gray to the eyes. Just once again, really controlling your color so it stays in one area. And when you're working with the brush tip, you can use it on its side where you're really able to get a thicker, stronger line. And you can be quite spontaneous with it. Or you can use the fine tip for an absolutely more controlled kind of line work. And you can put in more detail that way. It's always nice. Maybe a little hit or two on the lips is good. And um, gray is always nice for shadow. Once again, using the brush tip in very light feathery strokes. That's one of the versatile qualities of this brush tip. And you can draw with the fine end of the marker and add some detail at that point. And for the effect of shaved head, you can use little tiny dot patterns, which are great with the brush tip point. So it's really versatile to uh, flip your hand and really go back and forth between the two tips when you need more control. You flip over to the fine tip and then when you want something more expressive, you jump back to the brush tip. And if you want some interesting jewelry on the ears you can start with your black and then add gray for shadow Let's see we can hop back over to here But absolutely keep in mind that, uh, you know, to be sensitive in when you handle and hold the brush tip. And it really allows you to work very freely, but you have to keep a relaxed hold on these brushes. Remember a death grip on any art supply is not gonna help you make a better drawing. So relax with it and you can always strengthen the color by applying more pressure, using it on the side. Over here, we can switch over to a stronger shadow if you felt that, using the side of the brush like that. And even with the skin tone, side of the skin tone can be a good way to work with that. So, uh, there's your uh, drawing of um, a female face. So here's the final stroke of pink for your uh, gorgeous girl with the pink hair. If you'd like more information, it's prismacolor.com. Have fun with these new markers.